Hello everybody, BigPlanes here, and today I have another update for you on the 727 project. Now, before we dive too deep into this update, I wanted to let you know that over on my Patreon, I have been giving much more up-to-date and detailed updates on this plane. So if you wanted to sort of know more of what's going on here, I will leave a link down to my Patreon in the description below. So let's dive right into what I have done since the last video. And I've actually done a fair bit. So before we go too close, I wanted to let you know that I did install the, the inboard flaps. And I did sort of clean up more towards the front, and I am beginning to work on installing the outboard wing surfaces. So if we come in here and take a bit of a closer look, you can see here that I'm using a lot of these tiles here and some interesting techniques out here on the end to try to angle this. Now, I'll flip this over in a minute here so you can see more of what's going on there. But one thing I did want to point out is I don't know how long these tiles have been around, these uh, two by two tiles, but all I know is that back before they existed, we used to have to use these pieces to try to get that. So yeah, those are those are great pieces. I think I'm going to use some for the 747 to try to smooth some areas out, but that's beyond the point. So that's what I've done there. The flaps on the back, those do function now completely. So I will show you how that was work in a minute here. I am working on the outboard wing section. So again, these will just probably clip in right here. About so, again, it's still work in progress. And there will be another set of flaps out here. I don't think I'm going to include ailerons in this, but I might. So we'll just have to see. The flaps, where they work, and I'm going to see if I can do this with one hand. These are probably the most durable flaps that I've made to date. Again, they're basically exactly copied off the 727's design, but I'll show you how they work. So they slide out like this, the entire thing, right? And then this right here slides down, right? This slides out of that, and then this right here bends down like that. So there, it's not completely extended. It doesn't have its landing gear attached, but you can kind of see how the flaps do work. And yeah, I think they actually work pretty well. I, again, they were just copied straight over from the 737, which is sitting like lovely over on that table. So yeah, they were just copied straight over from that, and I think they worked out pretty well. Again, just very simple design, and it's very sliding. It's a sliding mechanism, so if you were wondering how that works, again, more detailed pictures on that on my Patreon. But I wanted to show you what's going on under here. So what I'm going to do here is well, flip this over. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so this is what's going on under it. Again, it's not done yet. I'm still going to be smoothing things out, of course. But you can kind of see it. Here's the landing gear. It just clips in here, so you know it'll look like that. I just removed that, so, you know, reasons. But... What we got going on down here is you can see the flat mechanism. It's very, very simple in idea. Execution isn't as simple, but it's a sort of a sliding mechanism. And I had to use a lot of very interesting angled bits here. I had to use these to kind of cover up the sliding mechanism. And that came undone. Lovely. So I had to use those to kind of cover up the sliding mechanism. And I think it worked out pretty well. Again, these are probably more durable than the 737 and 747 flaps. And I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. Here, again, this is going to be the landing gear area, and this is all going to be lovely, nice, and smoothed over, so we don't have to worry about that. Out here, I'm working on different techniques to how to, this is the wrong one, right, how to angle these things. I considered using those ball hinges, but I think I'm going to ditch that idea because it's terrible and it's not sturdy at all. So that's going to be the next challenge. So that's really going to be it for this video. I know this has been a pretty quick video, but I just wanted to update you as to what's going on. And I hope to have some more updates on this plane and on the 787. I'm not sure what's taken so long for those printed parts, but once I get them, there will be a video on that. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And that's it for this video. Bye for now.